Welcome back everybody, we're here again in the strip pits. We just tried to go to the lake where we caught the giant drum last time, but there's 30 boats there and there's only like two good spots, so we didn't really feel like dealing with that. We might go there after here though. It's pretty windy, so it should be good. There's also 20 boats here, but we haven't seen any of them, so they're probably all gonna be in the good spot in the back, which sucks, but they're probably all crappie fishermen, but we're gonna get to fishing. Makes no sense. They want he wanted the orange chatter rate off of the stick after he made a hundred casts with the Ned rig. I mean that fish is still freezing cold too. Orange chatter bait. A two pounder, I bet. Look at that tail. That's not even from like fanning to spawn. That's just a chunk taken out of him. Two pounder. very weird so it's very weird I made three casts in that same half right there too and ate it on the third one try the riprap but we have not been seeing all of these boats so there's probably gonna be a bunch of crappie guys back there on those standing trees well, hopefully they're not there's two boats along the riprap so we're gonna probably fish this pretty quick and then go back to the lake that is a hundred other boats and just deal with it I guess Big. It's not bad. Is that on the 90s crankbait? Yeah. Net? We don't? That means it's in the garage. Probably about a two-ish yeah. on a show the crankbait. Had it for almost 25 years. <laughs> it works. Wow. That was like the exact same fish I just caught size-wise. And they're sitting still on their crappie tree waiting the whole time and then right when we get to about to be in front of them on the shore they come into the shore and cut us off
fish was sitting on that stump, like directly on top of it. Some like everything is wrong with this fish. He's got a humpback. He's covered in warts. His tail's messed up. <laughs> covered in warts, so both sides. And he's he's hump. He's archbacked. Luke, this is a... Oh my gosh, that was a big fish. Oh, I just got hammered. I mean, I literally am throwing just this. It's like a replacement. Probably gonna get snagged, but might as well try it in case it's still there. here but nothing like earlier when we first drove by the wind sounds probably gonna be pretty bad but uh hopefully they're here again like last time first cast putting the chatterbait away already i ain't got a net guess i'm gonna grab him that's a nice large man ain't it yep Yeah, always. Oh. There's no net. You took it out. Because you said we didn't need it, remember? When you were cleaning the boat? Here, I'll grab him. I'll grab No, he's not hooked in the mouth. Look. There we go. That's a three and a half. Nice. Hammered it. What is going on here? Just let you do it. <laughs> There you go. That's cool. 3.04. Uh, it's called a three-pound, three pounder. For his first cast of the crankbait. Here's your fish. Three, three flat, super fat fish. They're also short here. It's insane. I guess I'll pick up the crankbait. few days later after the last time we went to the strip pits uh, there's not a ton of footage in that video so I thought I'd go try a pond it's pretty cold out and it's really windy so I'm gonna do one loop got the Chad Chad tied on chatterbait and a wacky rig and my mom here she's using a wacky rig so hopefully we can catch something just wanted to get at least another fish for the end of the video I'll make like a two cast over here No way. <laughs> what are you doing eating this lure that size? Oh. <laughs> he thinks he's a little bit bigger than he is. That's uh, my first swim bait fish there. It's just on the Spro KGB Chad Chat. Probably pound and a quarter, really fat. I don't know what he's doing eating a six inch glide. There he goes. Here, punch. 
myself around the big glide. There was already a guy fishing in the other car, and then he was there first. I didn't want to be rude to be the left. I only made like 10 casts. Now back at the house, thank you guys so much for watching. We ended up catching that one fish at the pond. The second pond uh, turned over a few times in the past few years, so it's not too great, but it's still worth trying. We caught nothing there. And at the start of the video, at the strip pits and the power plant lake, that weather was just so horrible, and the wind was blowing 30 miles an hour, so. So, thanks for watching.